cloudy skies and rainy days UK weather twists and sways Folding panels, easy ride Portable, they slip and slide Rigid ones, they stand and fight Hold their ground both day and night Van life needs the stronger heart Power up and play the part Folding versus rigid, who will win? Energy game, let's begin In the van or in the rain Which one stands, which one remains? So, just a quick video really Just to see if flat on the floor flat on the roof of my van and we're comparing the folding 600 watt panel to a rigid 600 watt panel so this is my 600 watt panel on my van it's obviously one rigid panel arguably um, it looks like it's maybe two panels sort of made up together but essentially for all intents and purposes it's one rigid panel in a frame with a, a glass top on it as well which is why they weigh so much if you're asking about that I got it off eBay, I think it was about 300 quid. Which one do you think's best? Comment now before tests start. So yeah, that panel there is exactly a thousand pounds. So I'll do the unfolded in inches, 83.7 by 71.4 by 0.4 inch. That's unfolded as you see it now. And then folded is 35.7 by 23.6 by 1.9 inches. Reckons it can convert up to 23% of sunlight into usable electricity. Its open circuit voltage is 52.8 volts. Uh, maximum power current um, is 13.63 amps. The item weight is 16.7 kilograms. So I'm reading for the tech sheet of the Canadian solar energy panel, 600 watts. Um, it reckons that it's got a power range of 585 to 605 watts. Reckons its open circuit voltage is 50.05, maximum power voltage is 42.12, and the maximum power current is 13.18. And it says it's 21.7% efficient at converting sunshine into electricity. It's 1303 side to side of my van. Lengthwise, front to back of my van is 2172, these are millimeters, um, and I think it's something like 35 millimeters deep and it weighs 30.5 kilograms although they do say you get 25 year power warranty from it and it's a mono crystalline 182 millimeters made up of 156 cells 6 by 26 so yeah i know i'm comparing 600 watts to 600 watts on the roof but obviously that is six panels put together so 100 watt panel each i'm assuming um, and they've also got connections between them. The connections obviously uh, got a loss to them. There are obviously differences between. Um, neither panel can be walked over. So this one or the one on my roof. The one on my roof has obviously been up there for, well, pretty much two years now. Uh, this one's just basically out of the box to do this test. So this one's pretty much brand new how new the technology is i don't know the one on my roof is um, from canadian solar like i say two years old no longer made anymore so you could argue it's end of line tech as well so whilst we're comparing 600 watts to 600 watts we're not comparing like to like i understand that but i just wanted to show you as as easy uh, as a way i could you know if you were to get a 600 watt folding solar panel what you can expect when you compare it to a flat panel. Which one is more value for money? Well, it depends where you can store it. If you've got a big space like this, that's easy. If you haven't, but you still want a lot of solar, then that makes more sense. Because like I say, it's got a, a lot more options to where you can gather solar, either doing it like that or hanging it from your van or making a special frame for it. They're both 600 watts. So the one on top of my van is 600 watts. And the one you can see on the floor there is 600 watts as well so they should both produce the same amount of power theoretically um, it's a sunny day at the moment but there's a little bit of overcast and all that kind of thing as well so going through those weather phases we'll see which one outperforms the other and uh, right now i'm actually got a fan heater on <laughs> um, because this unit was fairly fully charged anyway uh, 98 percent 
So I'm currently drawing 500 watts or 450 to 500 watts out of that. Um, in order to generate more of a solar requirement to recharge the battery so I don't want it to sort of like run out I want this experiment to continue so same in my van I've made sure I've put appliances on in my van to reduce the battery down to a certain level so that it can actually uh, you know get a proper full charge back up again 95% and my battery's on 95% as well in my van it's a fair comparison currently my van's bringing in 489 watts to replenish the battery. I've just been doing exactly the same inside. Put the fan heater on. So let's turn the AC off on this. And uh, I'm just going to reconnect that cable there to resupply solar. So on the folding panel that's currently flat on the floor, uh, we are getting 407 watts. And the panel on my roof, which is also flat obviously, and 600 watts, exactly the same, it's getting 503 watts. So there's a 100 watts difference between the two. Uh, the sky right now is mixed. So this is going to be a good test, you know. If one minute the sun's out and the sun's blaring, like it is there, and the next minute it's cloudy, that will also be a good test to see whether overall is a fixed rigid panel better than a folding panel for dealing with all sorts of weather conditions i mean yeah in winter you could easily mount that on the side of the van you know sort of like hook it up from the top of the rail there on the side it's going to catch more sun because it's at a better angle for winter sun than the flat panel on the roof which obviously can't be changed cloud is coming over now so we're going to see what it's like in cloudy conditions between the two. So on the roof, my camper van solar panel is 298 watts. And on the floor, the folding solar panel is 230. So my panel, I can't really find it anymore online. The most recent version of it, which produces almost exactly the same spec, is the um, Canadian Solar 575. So that's 575 watts panel a little bit smaller but produces almost the same power um, and that's around about sort of 300 quid so for a thousand pounds well you could buy three of the other panels and get 1500 watts it's where you're going to store it though isn't it <laughs> and that's where these come into their own really and that's why i'm making this video it is a comparison to say you know which is better but it isn't a comparison to say which produces more power. Um, the one that produces more power, despite the fact that apparently it's not as efficient, the one on my van, um, yeah, is the one on my van. Apparently it makes less power output as well, but it's still producing more solar. And it's been fantastic over two years now. Even in the depths of winter, I get a decent amount of solar every day. Uh, and in, well, in the last few sort of months, certainly from sort of um, end of March onwards, um, it's got me back up to 100% every single day. Most of the time lately, certainly sort of May, June time, it's got me back to 100% before 10 in the morning. Um, and my solar panel on the roof, don't forget, is also split charging um, uh, that and my power bank inside the van. So it's not right now for this test, um, it's just charging my leisure battery. But normally I have a split sort of like system in it so it can charge my leisure battery and my power station. Um, I'll link the video down below uh, to show you how I did that if you're interested. Whilst they're expensive, but the tech inside them is really good. Um, certainly the spec for what they can produce, the power they can produce, all that kind of thing is really good. And moreover, um, obviously they're a lot more flexible, no pun intended, as to what you can do with them. Like I say, this particular one, although it's a thousand pounds, does come with all the cables to connect it to different types of power stations or, you know, sort of power systems and also um, little hooks. So like I say, you could hook it up maybe from the gutter on the back of your van, dangle it down or from the side of your van, um, if you've got a, a roof rail or something like I've got and you can dangle it down from the side. Um, you could even use it as a sort of portable shade, hook it over the side and use some poles like uh, you know you would with a canopy um, to set out somewhat of a, a bit of a, a shade outside your van to shade you from the sun whilst also harvesting the power of the sun. So yeah, 
more versatile than the one on my roof, more lightweight, not quite as much power, uh, a lot more expensive. Not really a great summary, but there you go, a summary nonetheless. Thanks for watching, see you on the next one, bye. Which one stands, which one remains?